Welcome to one and all. Yeah, you know, when I woke up this morning, you know, I normally um, turn on my TV and first thing I normally do um, is watch. You know, watch the news, you know, watch the news, listen to the news. And I couldn't believe what, you know, I heard on the news. Um, Austria, Austria, as of February 2022, they are going to make it, well, you know, I still find this out. I still find it hard to believe, but according to, you know, what I've read and also the news I was watching this morning, as of February 2022, Austria is going to make it mandate and, you know, whether you want to or not, you're going to have to accept the vax. Yeah, as of February 2022. And personally speaking, I am not pro-vac. I'm not anti-vac. I am pro-choice. Because some of my families and friends have taken the vac. And that is up to them. That is up to them. That's 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 their choice. But as I said, if this is true, where Austria in February two thousand and twenty-two gonna make this compulsory? To me personally, this is hundred percent wrong. You know, I mean, don't this sound like um, you know, like all like a North Korea or China, then they would say that those countries, you know, a dictatorship, they said that those countries, you you know, if you live in those countries, you don't have any rights. But what about your human rights? You know, I just cannot... <laughs> I don't even know what to say. I never know I would have lived to hear or read um, what I just read about Austria. Okay, there's a short look at article and this is from the Guardian.com um, website. I'm going to read a couple of lines about this, you know, what the government is planning to do in February. Okay, Austria is to become the first European country to make the VAC against the big C mandate oh, compulsory ok the Chancellor Alexander has announced the government said it was preparing the legal groundwork for a general VAC mandate to come into effect from the 1st of February 2022 with exemptions for those unable to receive a job on medical grounds. Those refusing to be vaccinated are likely to face ad administrative fines. Boy, that's wrong, man. But it's going to get worse. It's going to get worse here. Which can be converted into a prison sentence if the fine cannot be removed now imagine that now if you don't accept it in february if they met this law in february 2022 in austria in austria and they look off it's australia either they're gonna fine you and if you still against it they are gonna lock you up now i can see I can see there are going to be more protests, you know, to do with this. You know, I can see people all over the world, especially in Austria, will be protests, which they already protested anyway, to do with the, um, you know, the lockdown and, um, 
you know, I can see that maybe governments in other countries will probably planning to implement this. Why? But I say, I say, let's say it is possible and everybody in Austria accept the VAC, right? What if, because we don't know, what if a, 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 a more deadly variant, you know, start to spread? That means the, the vax that they, they take, if everybody did take it in Austria and it's not going to happen, right? That means it's not going to make any difference. To me, this is 100% wrong. As I said, I am not anti-vax. I'm not pro-vax. I am pro-choice. So what do you people think? You know, um... Why? <laughs> I don't know what to say, but all I can say that this is not good. It's not good. It's not good. It's not good. It should be people's choice. You know, it's almost like the government. It's almost like somebody forcing you to eat or drink something, and you just don't want it. You know, it's this forced thing is is not good. Anyway, thanks for watching and thanks for listening. I am out of here.